Manila Boutique Hotel is a affordable, basic hotel with included breakfast in my most favorite neighborhood in Medellin. I've already done a few reviews on hotels in this neighborhood, and I have discussed more about why I like this neighborhood so much. It's basically very walkable and central to the freeway, the metro, the gyms, the shopping malls, etc. Now, it's the cost of this place was 46 bucks a night. I booked it on Airbnb, so if you find it off Airbnb, maybe it's uh, maybe it's cheaper. But it was basically it put it like in Colombian pesos. This was 195 a night. And if you remember my video on Selena, the micro room, it was 155, I think, or 160. So for an extra 10 US dollars, I get um, a private bathroom. That's that's alone. It's worth it. Uh, but I also get uh, somewhere to hang my stuff. You know, a bed, lamp, uh, more space. So it is, it is appropriately priced and it's in a better neighborhood. It's a very flexible hotel, it seems like. like kinda, it seems like kind of like anything goes. I saw a lot of people coming in and out of this place. So um, the visitor policy is very lax here. That's a plus. The downside of this place is, you know, it's basic, but the, the downside, the layout of this room is quite poor. There's a lot of, yeah, there's just a lot of unused space, unfortunately. You get with a, such a small hotel room, you gotta really be wise about how you're using the space. Behind the closet here thing, it's really unused. That side is unused. In the shower, there's like a big old, uh, I think it's the trash chute, but it's a big old like column in the shower. Though the shower is big, the shower is big, and it's a plus. I hate these showers where you're really just trying to, just trying to squeeze in. The shower is big. The shower hot water though, <laughs> it was odd. Okay, if you come to this hotel, the left side says it's cold, but it's actually hot all the way up. The right side says it's hot, but it's actually cold just a smidget, just a smidget. And if you go a smidget more, it goes from cold to scalding hot. It's kind of funny. I literally, to change it, I was like, bup, 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 like a half, like a half a millimeter, just bup, and it went from like scorching hot to like medium. It was, it was really sensitive. Anyways, it was hot water. The Wi-Fi, 110 megabytes per second. That's a plus for sure because, uh, especially if you're uploading, if you're making videos for YouTube, it can take a long ass time. This is, the, the hotel layout is there's five rooms per floor, there's five floors. Four of the rooms all have a street facing uh, window or maybe a balcony, I think none of them have a balcony. I had the cheapest one, it's interior, there's no windows. I did this because I saw on the reviews that on the outside, yeah, there's this like plastic thing instead of a window and so you could hear everything from the street and so I also am light sensitive so there's no windows in here so the blackout that's not really a window that's like to the inside of the hotel so it's pitch black to sleep and to sleep in if you want that's cool they have a rooftop but it's uh, not used it's not used it could be cool I mean I don't know why uh, who else did this uh, Nomada Nomada Hostel did this. These are all re hotels referencing hotels or hostels I'm referencing that I've done. Check out my playlist. If I can, I'll put it, I'll put a link here otherwise in the description. They also had a rooftop, great rooftop, even better than this. And it was totally unused. And they've been open for literally four, five, six, seven months. Like it wasn't like, it wasn't like they just opened up. This place as well has been opened up for a good long time. And they got chairs up there. It looks like to be a restaurant maybe, but it's unused. So sad, so, so sad. You can go up there and work if you want. On the ground floor, there's a Mexican restaurant. It's good, actually, it's pretty damn good. I had the tacos there only, I recommend it. Breakfast is included. It's a traditional paisa breakfast, arepa, eggs, some orange juice, coffee. And finally, the sound is uh, moderate. I, I didn't use earplugs either, but there was some sound, but I think it's from the, the uh, restaurant down below, and I think they turn it off at like 10 or 10.30, something like that. And uh, so yeah, overall, the, the there is Wiza, uh, there's a TV right here ahead of me, and they do have Netflix. I gotta remember to sign out of there. But overall, satisfied, it's a good option. There's numerous hotels in this neighborhood, numerous hotels. If you don't stay here, I recommend you stay in a different one. You got Los Patios, I mentioned Nomada. You have uh, Viajero. You have numerous uh, nice Airbnbs. We got this one, I'm sure there's a few others. There's also one that's cool, it's called Vecino. It's got like co-living. It's a recently renovated house with looks like a nice interior, three or four bedrooms. I haven't been able to get in there because it's always been booked, but that seems pretty cool ground level they got a little cafe type thing going on so today i go to my next destination which is go living and sweets i'm kind of excited about this because it basically solves the problem my problem which is you book airbnbs and the social aspect is is cut but when you go to a hostel you have the social aspect but then you got shit hit kids party till 5 a.m 
and, and having sex next door. If you recall my review of Los Patios, I had to deal with that for like 25 minutes at like 4 a.m. And Go Living and Suites, they they have, it looks like they have basically an entire apartment building available with, I hope, a rooftop. Um, so maybe I'll meet some cool people there. We'll see. Till next time. Ciao.